Welcome back. Great to have you here on WKYT. It's a night that honors our community health care leaders. Baptist Health is holding its annual Celebration of Care. Christine McIntyre and Christy Yawn are here to tell us more about it. Glad to have you here today. Thank you for Thank having you. Uh, give us uh, an idea. Tell us first of all about this year's honorees. Well, this year's honorees, we're very fortunate to have the voice of the Wildcats, Mr. Ralph Hacker. And one of the reasons I think Mr. Hacker was chosen is because he has been such a involved and energetic community leader in raising awareness about heart disease. So we're so happy and grateful that he's participating and that this is going to be a great event for him, him as well. But Dr. Gary Earl, he's a cardiovascular surgeon that's been with uh, Baptist Health since 1988. So with that, Dr. Earl, I was thinking about how many innovative new procedures he's seen from open chest procedures to now these minimally invasive procedures. Oh, for what a change. It's, 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 it's been tremendous. amazing. So he's, you know, he brings so much to the table when we speak with Dr. Earl about history and things that are progressing in cardiac services. And finally, Dr. Gary Tomasoni. He is our medical director for the electrophysiology and atrial fib program at our facility. But beyond that, he has really championed the efforts in bringing cardiac research to a community hospital like Baptist Health Lexington. And with that research, of course, comes innovative technology and new state-of-the-art procedures and devices. So research in a community setting in for cardiac services has been a huge benefit to grow our program overall. That's really wonderful. We are planning a big event at mm -hmm. the Keeneland Entertainment Center right. Friday, August 25th. What can people expect? Oh, it's a lot of fun. This is the third annual event, mm -hmm. and so we always have one service that we honor, which is cardiac this year. So we expect about 400 people, all kinds of donations for the silent and the live auction, all the way from like exotic trips to the Bahamas, all the way to a you know, a really neat piece of art or whatever, you know, there's always something there that will be of interest to you. So and how will that money be put to use then? It will go directly to cardiac services. And for the, now I have to say it, the telemetry monitoring system <laughs> oh, that, right. that they're going to be buying because they need new equipment, more updated, and it's it for our cardiac you can explain rehab it. services. Yeah, it's, 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 we monitor patients in cardiac rehab post an event, whether it's a heart cath or open heart surgery or even heart failure. And when they exercise and their vital signs are monitored now with this new technology, it'll immediately be able to be transferred into the medical record system for our cardiologists to see how well they're progressing with their exercise related to their overall well, heart condition. Much more innovative. Yeah. Well, you've wonderful. chosen wonderful people to honor. There and we go. thank you very much. Good and, luck with that. Thank well, thank you. And doing a lot of good while uh, enjoying that good time coming up at that event. Thanks it'll for being be a here. a lot of fun. Appreciate thank it. you.